I met Lorraine and Morris McCabe on the 25th of January. In the heavy burden of the hurt and the devastation that they felt was so apparent to me, particularly in their faces, their body postures, and the words that they used. They spoke very truthfully of the devastating impact that this has had on their families, the various wrongdoings they were communicating to me. They told me that the most recent development of the information that they had received through the Freedom of Information requests uh, uh, with regard to TUSLA was worse than anything else that had happened to them. I spoke with the Tanishta, the Minister for Justice, prior to meeting with Sergeant McCabe and his wife to let her know that I was doing that. That is the content of what I informed her of. Uh, I also spoke with uh, the Tishik uh, prior to the Cabinet meeting last week to let him know that I had met with the McCabes um, uh, that we had discussed uh, Tusla. Uh, I didn't go into the detail of any of the allegations that I was aware of, but I did indicate to him that that was the nature of the conversation. My uh, advisors were also in touch with the Tishik's office to let them know that I was going to meet with the, um, with the McCabe's prior to that. Have you considered your resignation? No, I have not. Uh, I have a job to do. I'm the only independent woman at the cabinet table. I think I bring a particularly unique perspective, and I want to continue to do that. And in that regard, as you know, you have the announcement today in terms of a statutory uh, investigation that HICWA will do in Tusla so that we, I can ensure as Minister for Children that it is fit for purpose as, as we move into the future.